Okay, I'm going to try and eat this cake without getting wet. I'm getting wet. I know I've already failed that battle, but without getting the cake wet. So today I watched the Oxford Cambridge rowing. Um, normally I don't watch it just because it's not something that interests me. And I was only watching it because it was on TV and I was working so I wasn't really paying that much attention to switch over. And then it started getting really interesting. There was a guy who was swimming uh, and obviously since you're doing a rowing race down the Thames, kind of, they don't let people swim. I don't even know if you're, al well I know you're probably allowed to but I don't think it's not the best thing to swim in a river that has quite a lot of boats and stuff normally. So this guy was swimming, he was protesting the elite or something, I don't really know what he was protesting. He, yeah, good job, everyone knew what you were doing. Um, and literally he was like, woo, and then this is, let's just say Cambridge, my hand's Oxford. Oh no, yeah, uh, let's just, oh I'm the guy, right? And they were like, do, 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 and the oars were like, ah, and he was like, whoa, under the water. <laughs> I have a beard of bullets um, and just, just missed the oars to head and I love how the guy, um, the guy kind of, not interviewing, I don't know what the actual name of it is, the, the sports guy who talks over it was like, that man could have been decapitated. He didn't go that far but he was, he did say that man would have lost his head if the blades of those oars had got him and I doubt it. I'm sure probably at that speed could have killed him and could have done him a great, great harm, but maybe not beheaded him. Really, he was he was excited. Probably because there's nothing exciting ever happens in rowing. Uh well Then, there's loads breaks, so I went back the way to restart, not all the way back, or I would have switched over by that stage, um, and then started rowing again, and then, um, have you any watched that Benton Fenton video, where the guy's like, Benton, Benton, it was like that, because you have the kind of umpire, who was, who follows them in a, in a boat just, behind them and he kept going Oxford 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 and then the oars all started colliding and one of Oxford's oars like broke in half and then oh, the, the cock who is that cox not cock <laughs> oh, sorry who was um a female cocks that they have who's like the woman who who gets them to to oar all in time and keeps them motivated and keeps them on path uh, she had her hand up like hey stop the match stop the match race I clearly don't watch sports that much uh, and the umpire was like no keep going and then you just see how much excitement can one race get then they finished and Oxford, was, well she wasn't happy, the Cox and Oxford team wasn't happy, she was always like oh we can't finish a race this way, this is ridiculous and Cambridge were just like hey we won and then just when you thought you can get any more excitement in a boating race the guy in the back of the boat, canoe, no not canoe, back of the boat thing he like completely collapsed in the boat and then they I'm just got a drip on my head and then they realised that he had been collapsed for about four or five minutes which is quite a long time to be like collapsed for so then they had to pull him off the boat and onto another boat and they took him to the hospital and then so they didn't have normally they have a kind of big celebration and they do things like they throw the cocks in the river and they like they obviously do a presentation and they ended up not having that so it was really really quite exciting I don't say so myself. I think I'm gonna start watching Roy. It's really good. You should watch Roy. Everyone should watch Roy. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna go back. Got my cake. Got my tea. Got my beard of bubbles.